Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And what happens when your subscriber numbers decline? What? You force people to subscribe to your streaming service. And that's apparently what Disney is doing. They're announcing a new price increase for Hulu plus live TV. Oh my God, again? Yeah. How many times have they done this? Uh, once a year, $10 a year for the last couple of years. So what's it up to now? It's 70 bucks. Oh my God, it was like 40. It was when 40 we when we started. It. Yeah, so now we're now we're taking it up to 70 bucks, but wait, there's more. Uh, you will automatically be subscribed to Disney Plus and ESPN Plus. For okay, that $70. well, I guess I guess though you're getting $10 increase, which covers those things. However, what if you don't want those things? Like, we don't have ESPN because I don't watch it. Well, the reason that they're doing this is, and the analysts have pointed out, is that Disney Plus's numbers have flatlined, and Disney is desperately trying to get those numbers up. You so say flatlined, I say gone way, way, missed expectations significantly. Missed expectations significantly. So the stock is not doing that great. Actually, we've lost money on our Disney stock. It was doing really good mm -hmm. for a while. I'm not going to sell it, but we, we did lose some. Mm, if it goes down really low, I'll grab some more. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they are they're going to pad the numbers by forcing Hulu subscribers in a roundabout way to also become Disney Plus subscribers. Right. Now, I think most most probably already are, but they said they're going to consolidate your accounts. And... So they have a lot They have a lot of subscribers on Hulu. So what's going to happen is when this rolls out, the people who have the live TV or whatever, they're all just going to suddenly count for ESPN and Disney Plus as well. Yeah. So there'll be this huge increase in subscribers. Oh yeah. That they'll tout at yeah. the next the next meeting because that'll be like that would be part of Q1. Mm -hmm. And they'll be like, oh my God, we had this huge subscriber increase. Look how great we're doing. Yeah, a little sleight of hand. It's amazing Mickey can do so many magic tricks with those big ass gloved mm -hmm. fingers. Well, there's a lot of room to stuff stuff in there. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred forty one thousand subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. We do talk a lot about Disney. Uh, having worked in and around the company for a number of years, uh, we've been following the situation with Disney Plus, and we did report that Disney Plus did uh, flatline. Mm -hmm. uh, they only missed had expectations by a lot. By a lot, uh, and as a result of that, the stock declined in value. And now it seems like Disney is up to some tricks to try to pad its numbers, but they're also looking at another option which is adding adult content to Disney Plus, which mm -hmm. has been rumored for a while, but I guess no, there's serious- adult content isn't. Well, I mean, they got the it name could... for Ironheart from a porn film, possibly, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So maybe they'll maybe they'll go there. I don't know. I, I but, don't think that's what they'll do. But we said- It'd be funny if it did, though, but they're not going to do that. We said before that we think they've, they've hit the ceiling because the, the difference with uh, Disney versus Netflix and HBO Max is that- they have adult content, and that helps drive. I mean, look, Squid Game's a huge hit. Mm -hmm. It's pretty violent. Obviously, not something that would be on Disney, but now Disney can be like, oh, yeah, well, we got adult content, too. I got to wonder if they aren't just going to merge Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN Plus, and one. What do they call that? Dulupian. I don't know. Uh, Dulupian? <laughs> uh, Dulupin. It's like Chalupin. Ben Ulu. I don't know. I don't know. Just spin. We're going to call it spin. There you go. Anyway, uh, Disney is forcing Hulu users to subscribe to Disney Plus and ESPN Plus with another price hike. I wondered. I got I got uh, an email yesterday that said that they were going to like merge our Hulu and Disney Plus accounts, and I didn't know what was up with so that. So are they not going to charge us now for the Disney Plus um, separately? No. I think they're going to – I think they give you a credit for that if I read it correctly. So um, if you're already subscribed to Disney Plus, I think you're you're covered. But if you haven't subscribed to Disney Plus yet, guess what? You're getting subscribed to Disney mm -hmm. Plus because they need that. They need numbers. They need numbers. So another Disney fiscal year ends and like clockwork, Disney jacks up rates on streaming services beginning in December. Hulu plus live TV will increase yet again from $64.99 to $69.99 per month with no ads or $75.99 uh, without ads. What's different this time around is that Hulu subscribers will automatically have Disney Plus and ESPN Plus bundled with their package, whether they want it or not. Um, from Engadget, uh, we'll go out to Engadget here. They broke the news first. Okay. Uh, if you're a Hulu Plus live TV customer, Disney plans to add Disney Plus and ESPN Plus to your subscription, and you have no choice in the matter. On Friday, the company sent an email to current subscribers informing them of the impending change. Uh, December 21st, all Hulu Plus live subscriptions will include... Disney's two other streaming platforms, you know, to pad the numbers. Uh, this is 
funny. They think people are this stupid? Yes. I yes, mean, they do. I mean, investors, like they're going to have to answer to investors and investors are they're going to be like, great, you got the numbers up because you really didn't. You our, didn't really get, you just juggled what you had. Our ARPU went through the roof. Uh, with the change, the price of Hulu Plus Live TV plans increased by five a year. Now, it's been $10 a year for the last two years. It, well, sometimes it was a couple times a year they, they upped the price. I know in a like couple years, they went from like $40 a month to like $65 a month in like two years. Yeah, so here's the thing. I mean, it, it doesn't even pay to, to cut the cord anymore. When we uh, you know, switched from DirecTV to, to Hulu with Live TV... We were only paying $35 or $40 a month for it, mm -hmm. and now we're up to $70 a month, and they don't really have that many channels. And no. Brands, they really don't have a lot of channels. In fact, I think they've yanked some channels that used to be on there. Um, no, I mean, if you do want to subscribe to ESPN Plus and Disney Plus, it, and you already do Hulu Live TV, it's actually kind of going to save you money, probably. Um, but still... Yeah, so they said people like, never like paying more for a service, but the way in which the company is handling this latest price hike may irk some customers. Yeah, some customers don't want that. Tell it to Bob Chapek. Oh, you can't because he hides. He hides from from uh, Disney mm -hmm. customers. Uh, Disney's latest earnings report may provide some insight into the company's motivations. In Q4, the company only added 2.1 million Disney Plus subs, far fewer than the 9.4 million Wall Street had expected. Told you they missed it significantly. It's possible Disney anticipates whatever Hulu subscribers it loses will be worth an increase to its Disney Plus customer and right base. right now we're telling you, next investor call, they're going to be going about the ARPU and how great they're doing. And oh my God, I know we were down, but look how great we're doing now. They can only do this once. Mm -hmm. They can only That's do a Hail Mary. That's a Hail Mary pass. They can only do this one time because what is going to happen is they will probably lose some Hulu customers. I mean, it's not a huge increase, but again, what we're talking is Hulu has effectively doubled since Disney took it over. In price, in not price. in size. Not in value. That's for mm -hmm. damn sure. I mean, it really hasn't doubled in value. And you've got other options out there like Roku TV, which has tons and tons and tons of free content, mm -hmm. you know, um, so they can do this one time. That'll pump up the numbers for Q1, and then yeah. they're going to have to come up with a new trick. Mm -hmm. uh, and there'll probably be more price increases for Disney Plus, and, you know, uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, you know, this, this is it. Um, the subscriber growth has been slowing down, uh -huh. you know, way below what they expected. I didn't realize that they were shooting for nine million. I did, because I did a couple things. And Mr. Milo did a, a couple articles. I had done some, too. I knew it was, it was like one quarter or so of what they expected. Um, you know, stocks are dropping. I know this, uh, cause I'm like, Hey, why is, why is our portfolio kind of flatlining mm -hmm. this week? And I'm like, everything is up, 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 up. Wow, man. Roblox is through the freaking roof. Which is great because mm -hmm. uh, I bought a lot of. Doesn't Roblox. our daughter have a bunch of stuff? She in does that? have a bunch of Roblox. Yeah. Yes, uh, she does. Roblox did very, very well this week. I, I tell you for a fact, I'm doing Angel Tree gifts. A ton of kids wanting Ro Ro Robux, Roblox, and Robux. Yeah. Um, Fortnite V Bucks too, but tons of Roblox. You know, ask requests. Yeah, it was weird because I, I bought um, Roblox the day it was offered uh, IPO, and I bought a bunch of it uh, for us and for the kids and it just kind of like flatlined. It didn't really do much. And then like in the last couple of weeks, it just like skyrocketed. Yeah, go us. So I'm like, cool. Anyway, maybe Disney will come back around. Cause it, it was like, why, why are we so flat? Roblox is doing good. Oh, Disney's oh, doing Disney bad. Disney will come back around. They'll make sure they, they do will. whatever they have to, to come back around. So if it goes down low, you probably can buy money or buy stock and get money off of it. So Disney's down more than 9% in just a week. Completely underperforming Ooh. the S and P five hundred, and then and, and and then Chapek doesn't go to the uh, Chapek's hiding. Oh, but um, it was it was it, well, no, he might be actually having to stay over there to deal with this shit. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to call it that he is like deliberately hiding because with all the the stocks tanking, it would not be surprising to me if he really couldn't go. The the problem is that they're banking so heavily on Disney Plus. And I think, you know, as we come out of the pandemic too, I think people are going to, you know, slow down on watching as much streaming content because they're not locked in their houses anymore. But I also don't think the theme parks are going to bounce back as quick because people are, you know, reeling from a uh, year and a half, two years of hurting financially. Some people- And then they have, keep raising prices. They keep raising the prices. what you get. Yep. And they're they're joking about it. They're like, oh, we're just going to shrink the food for- Because uh -huh, you're fat. Because you're fat. You know, that's not going to go well. We're, we're, we're doing it you know, in typical Disney fashion. Oh, no, no. We're just doing it to help you. <laughs> Yeah, we're yeah we're doing it to help you now. When you've got, and we did a video on this the other day. You've got some of, you know, Disney's uh, biggest influencers t 
turning on the company. When you've got, you know, uh, Pete Werner from Dreams Unlimited Travel, which is the largest Disney travel agency, saying Disney hates the fans. I thought you were talking about me, but I turned a couple years ago. Yeah, we turn to the dark side, uh, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. I think I think a lot of Disney fans are in for a very rude awakening. I think a lot of Disney employees are in for a very rude awakening if things keep yeah uh, keep going the way that they're going. And Star Wars is kind of in the gutter. And well, today Mar- Eternals didn't do well. Well, right now it's it's Destination D twenty three or mm-hmm. whatever they call it. Do you want the one in Orlando? Yeah. And um, now we do, they are trying to get some news out there to get people interested. Like we know that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is going to open next year sometime, mm. next summer. We also know that Phantasmic is coming back to Disney World and Disneyland next year sometime with no specific dates. We also know they're bringing out Main Street Electrical Parade again. They're bringing out... I'm okay with that. World of Color is going to come back and they're going to bring out the Festival of Fantasy again at Walt Disney World sometime next year. Um, don't know when. I was hoping that we'd get something over here in in, or, in Orlando area. You would think for the 50th, there now, I as I understood it, there were plans to do a special parade for the 50th, and they had to pull the plug on that because mm. of COVID. COVID and running out of money. Money, yeah, mostly Bob, money. Bob Chapek being in charge, and that costs too much to build new floats. We can't do that, you know. So this this is, like, supposed to be the 50th anniversary. I'd like, compare the 50th anniversary of, of Disney World to Disneyland 60th. Yeah. And it's, like, night and day difference. Which is you know? what I was mad about. Like, I thought they could have brought Electrical Parade to Disney World, given, you know, the fact they don't have anything over there. Like and it's their years. 50th anniversary. Yeah. No. No. They were they were talking they were going to do a new nighttime parade, and, and they had all stuff yeah, they were going to take some floats from I think I think the Main Street Electrical Parade, and they were going to take some from um, uh, Paint the Night, mm-hmm. which objectively is the better parade. Of yeah, the it two. is. I just like the Main Street Electrical Parade because I grew up with it. But but uh, they never brought Paint the Night to Disney World because some of the floats are too big. Well, that they won't turn in the yeah. hub. Yeah. yeah. But you know, so they're trying to do all these announcements this weekend to try to bolster like you know the stock market and bring it back up. Like, look, we have all this stuff coming. Now they're doing this to try to show, look, look, investors, people are going to be made to subscribe to this. But a lot of people have said the part of the problem they have with Disney Plus is it does not have the content. No. It does, they aren't able to keep up with new stuff like other streaming services can. And that's part of the problem as well. Yeah. Hence this other other uh, rumor going around, which I, I do believe because we've heard we've, this a couple of times, actually. We have heard this a couple of times. In fact, we did a story, I think, on Pirates and Princesses about a year ago that Disney was actually looking at having an 18 plus option. Sorry, I'm flipping the screen off right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, Disney execs reportedly at odds over streaming more adult content on Disney Plus. And that's where they're weak against Netflix and HBO Max and literally everybody else. Disney's hands are kind of tied. And they said that this is this is coming up. Like, is this going to damage the Disney brand? Um, according to a recent story featured in that that Puck blog, which same one that, that talked right. about Kathleen Kennedy from the former editor of The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, Walt Disney Company's executives have been debating heatedly whether or not to add more adult content to their catalog on the streaming service. Um, Former CEO and current executive Bob Iger reportedly wants the platform to remain focused on family content, but Bob Chapek wants the service to expand in order to build interest with a larger audience after what has been perceived as disappointing growth in subscriptions. But see, I don't know how, I, I, you know, I get what he's saying, but I remember when they, they did Showgirls and some of those other movies with, was it Touchstone? Oh, yeah, Touchstone, Mir- yeah, Touchstone was, Miramax. Yeah. yeah, and you know, people were, when they found that it was Disney, they weren't happy because Disney has got themselves, oh, we're the Disney difference, we're the family brand. It probably isn't smart of Disney to go and try to, to, to merge the streams yeah. there on that one. I, I just, I, I have to laugh, though, because the thought of them having, like, you know, rated R and mature stuff on Disney Plus makes me giggle. I'm trying not to laugh just talking about it because just picturing it. I, I got to wonder if they aren't just going to merge all the services together in one big streaming service. And then the Disney part of it will be like the family friendly. And then if you want the more adult stuff, it'll be like the Fox tab 
Kind of like they do with HBO Max, yeah. where they have like the Cartoon Network tab, and they've got the, you know. I just, I just, I just think it's funny. It just makes me smile because I think it's hilarious. I don't know why, but I do. Coming soon to Disney Plus, Mickey's Dicky. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna see that. But Mickey's Dicky's Dicky, everybody. I, 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 uh, I understand why Chape. Of course, it's Chapek that wants to do it, but I, I, I kind of have to agree with Iger on this one. I don't know if you really want that on Disney Plus. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Hot dickity dog. Yeah, hot dickity dog or diggity dog. Hot dickity dog. Mm. There we go. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.